Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a great day. Today I wanted to share with you all the creation of the beautiful manga bookshelf behind me. I wanted to make a custom bookshelf that would best display my manga with the very limited and odd space that I had available. So if that sounds at all interesting to you, I would love to take you on this adventure with me of creating my own custom manga bookshelf from scratch. A quick disclaimer before we get started, I began this journey using a camera and mic of lower quality, so if you would please just bear with me, I promise it gets better. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin. Today we are gonna fix that. <laughs> Due to the aforementioned technical quality, I wanted to sum up the first few steps I took, mostly using a voiceover. So here I'm explaining my plan to fix my disgraceful pile of manga I have stacked against the wall. And I decided to do this by making a series of shelves using L brackets, and adding a piece of wood to the side to frame it, giving it the illusion that it's actually a bookcase, even though technically it's not. Yeah, that entire wall, other than where the radiator is, is filled with manga. All you manga collectors out there are probably crying inside at the state of all the books just crushing one another. I started by stacking everything up on a cart to get it out of the way. Sorry in advance if you're interested in this cart because I actually got it for free and have no idea what brand it is. I also had this tote to fill up with anything that didn't fit on the cart. And it wouldn't be a consuming plastic video without at least one thing going wrong. <laughs> Am I right? Oh yeah, it's not that bad. It's not easy, but luckily... Oh my god. That was bad. Luckily it could have been worse, and nothing was broken. At least nothing that wasn't already broken. <laughs> and now let's move on to the measuring, but first... Let me show you a magic trick. Ready for this one? I got a couple of manga of various size here. We got No Guns Life, uh, Gundam Wing, Trigun, and Berserk. And I think what I'm going to do is just measure using these instead of actual like measuring tape or anything. Because I think that it makes more sense. This is what the shelves need to fit. Oh, and I have a painter's tape to mark it out because uh, it's going to need to stay on the wall to make sure... I'm right. And so begins the taping process, one of the most crucial steps to ensure I like the layout before doing anything permanent. You can see me measuring using the books throughout, which I think was a smart move. Since these are custom shelves I made specifically for them, it's most important that they fit nicely throughout. Because of this, most of the shelves aren't actually even, as you can see from my little mock-up here. But I made sure that they're not too far off, so that way it's not too obvious that they don't match. So I think that's good. And I think this is way more room than I have manga. I gosh, I hope it is. <laughs> but that's a good thing because I'm still forever collecting manga. I very much enjoy actually having a physical copy of things. And then I got sidetracked. So before we get started on actually drilling and hammering and all that good stuff, I wanted to go ahead and show off. I got two new mangas here. I got the most recent Tanya. I actually haven't read 19, but this is 20. I might have also bought the light novels <laughs> and I got the Land of Illustrious number five. I haven't read this at all, so I bought the first five or maybe six volumes because I got them used and they weren't too, too bad. I'm pretty excited. I've seen a lot of the garage kits because of soccer unboxing. If you haven't watched her stuff, go check her out. She's a very kind soul. I talk to her all the time in the comments section. Very nice girl. Recommended it. So I was like, all right, let me get a few and we'll see how it goes. Worst comes to worst, I don't like it. And maybe my daughters will like it one day. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. Let's go ahead and start getting, getting stuff done on the wall here. This thing my dad made, cause he's super awesome. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> yeah, he got my wood for me. This is all my wood over here for the shelves. I went with him, but he knows wood better than I do. And I was like, please help me. And uh, he was like, oh, why don't we make this little end thing for the side of the shelf? This was just gonna be aesthetic, but he did this. So check that out, lines up pretty damn well. This way, my shelves can actually rest on these. And uh, yeah. There's a little extra support there. So I thought that was really cool, really neat of him, and just like, that was super nice of him to do. And then I got sidetracked again. This poor thing is so freaking old. I love this thing. Let's see, oh yeah, batteries are dead. It lights up and makes noise and everything, and it's very broken. <laughs> but this thing was awesome. I totally recommend it if you can find it. 
I could ask for help, but why would I do that? I can figure it out. Alright. Got my line there. Cool. Awesome. Oh, fantastic. I'm just gonna leave this guy blank. I mean, like, not screwed into anything. He doesn't need to be. Yeah, gravity's screwing him into the floor. We're all good. Alright, so I got this pushed against there. Cool, cool. Now we're gonna get the side. Cool. Here's what I did. I just went ahead and screwed it there. It's only one, and then I put the other screw there. So I don't think I need the two on the side if I have the one on the other side. How it looks like that. I think it looks like it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it'll be successful. So now I'm just gonna do the other two and then I will go ahead and we can plop it to the wall and then we'll start on the actual shelves themselves. So check it out. It's attached to the wall. It's a miracle. Yeah, it's it's not going anywhere, just like I thought. It's not that big a deal. I like how far it is from the radiator. There's like almost no space. And yeah, on this side, we're not putting anything. The manga's gonna just be flush against it, so. First part of the bookshelf, complete. And with that, it was time to start on the shelves. However, there was still one possible challenge ahead, and this time, it actually had to do with the house. Nothing is actually level in this room. Like, okay, here's an example for you. Here's the wood that's just flush across the wall. I can literally stick my pinky in here still. Like, it's not actually even at all. And I already knew that from when I did the collage on the ceiling. Like, it's it's this room is so not even at all. I wasn't sure what color I wanted things to be, so I just kind of left them. Because worst comes to worst, I could always unscrew them. Or I could just paint them. I might even just paint the edges, because, I mean, who cares about what the rest of the bookshelf looks like, right? The books are going to be on it. I don't think it's going to matter. <laughs> Look at that. It's magic! I mean, that's what I want. Let's see. I want to see how many of them I could do that with. This is a terrible idea. I'm gonna end up regretting this. I already know it, but... Um... Yeah, that one's not gonna stick. <laughs> Alright, well, I deserved that. <laughs> It didn't actually hit my thumb, so I'm pretty lucky that I didn't just smash my fingers when I did that. Check it out. Got some batteries in the stud finder. <laughs> right there. Sweet. I don't think we're gonna need mollies, guys. Let's mark where these suckers are. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me play with the stud finder. Just know that I should have scanned the rest of the wall and didn't realize my mistake until, well. They're so close. I feel like, wait, does that mean there's another one over here? Like, I'm just curious now. I'm gonna say there should be another one right there. I probably, hindsight. Should do that one instead. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move this one and put it over there. And why I didn't just add another one before taking the one down that was helping hold the shelf up, the world may never know. It's good. It's practice, you know? I was gonna make some holes in the wall. Nothing a little spackle can't fix. I know how to do that too. Spackle's an easy thing. And my thought is that hopefully the mongo go on either side of this, or I can put this in between pages, I'm not too worried about it, but that should hold it pretty nicely. So now I just have to go up through the bottom and I feel like I should do that before I put this one on. Yep. You should. <laughs> but you won't. I decided to screw all the L brackets into the wall before attaching any of them to the wood. Enjoy my time lapse of me leveling and screwing everything together. Alrighty, so 
there we go. It's pretty, pretty wonderful. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I just put these on here because I didn't want them in the way. But the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go ahead and put the extra screws into these things. I don't really know what to do with these. I guess I'll keep them for now until I'm sure I don't wanna use them. And then I'm gonna take all the shelves off, take all this tape off. The bottom one's not gonna be attached to anything and the second to bottom one, I don't think I can actually screw to the board. I think it's just gonna be too tight for me to get the drill under there. So I'm just gonna leave it. I don't think it's the end of the world. I think it's pretty good. What I can do is since I didn't attach these yet, I'm just gonna take them all off and then work from the bottom upwards and then all of them will be more secure. Yes. I stupidly made everything harder for myself and did indeed begin to work from the bottom up, but luckily I noticed that this was a terrible idea, albeit a little too late to completely save myself from the headache of trying to squeeze it between two shelves to screw them, but at least I only made myself do it once. Better than six times, that's for sure. With that out of the way, it is time for the piece de resistance. You tank of a cat. Look at how chunky this kitty is. You, 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 you. Oh, I'm picking on you, I know. But you actually want attention, so. Oh, now she's a mad kitty. Just kidding. Let's plop the manga onto the shelves. I won't be time lapsing this as much as I will be snipping, because when I personally watch these videos, I find it very satisfying when they don't go at the speed of light, so enjoy.
I ended up putting a bunch of shonen jumps over here. I didn't really record that obviously, but because this is a radiator, I wanted to put some metal boxes over here. And we have Mary in her little bathing suit up there because I don't really have any other figures to match that. So that's just kind of precariously in the corner. <laughs> like there's still a big gap here, but I think that they're pretty safe where they are. And then we have all of the manga as I just organized. That is it for me making my custom manga bookshelves. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you made it this far, I assume you might at least maybe somewhat like me. If that is the case, please feel free to like and subscribe. I am a figure collector and usually make figure related content, unboxings, hauls, and reviews. I, as a general rule, just collect whatever I want. However, I also do other weeby things such as this, other DIYs, other just random stuff that has to do with anime. And if that at all sounds interesting to you. I hope you will come back soon. Anyways, I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I'll see you all next time.